What's good everybody? Welcome back to the Treasure Zone. The best time of the year has finally come around again. It is Great League and Rotation, which is my personal favorite, and I wanted to make a video about Primeape because Primeape is a staple in my team. I used it the entirety of the last time Great League was around in Rotation, and I will be using it nearly every team I build this Rotation. Primeape is my favorite PvP Pokemon because of how consistently good it is. I've spent weeks and weeks tweaking and perfecting using Primeape, and now I wanted to share what I've learned. What I've learned is that Primeape tears through opponents and wins flip or underdog matchups very easily because of its wide coverage of moves. Although, to be able to have such a wide coverage of moves, we do run a different charge move than what PV Poke recommends and says is the best charge moves to run with this Pokemon. I've tried every charge move Primeape can have, and this is where I've found the most amount of success, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But just as a reference point, my Primeape is a 15 attack, 15 defense, and 14 stamina, so it is a good IV. Now let's get into the stats and see how it compares against the rest of the league. Currently, Primeape is ranked number 68 on PV Poke, which I believe is way too low. For me personally, however, I don't care about the rank too much. I prefer using Pokemon that I like, I want to use, and I have fun battling with, rather than only using the top three ranked Pokemon. Because at the end of the day, it's a video game. It's designed for players to have fun. So just do what is fun for you, use the Pokemon you like, and the winning will follow. And I believe team synergy is more important than rank. A team that works well together will do better than just random Pokemon that don't work well together at all. These Pokemon are ranked higher than Primate, but when we talk about the stats, Metacham's attack is 105, Machamp is 136, Primate is 140. So Primate is dealing more damage with counter than Metacham and Machamp. And I've also found that Primate beats both Metacham and Machamp in a 1v1. And if we compare Primate to Shadow Machamp, Shadow Machamp does actually do slightly more damage, although it has a lower defense and they have about the same stamina. But that's enough talking about how good Primeape is, now it's time for me to show you. In this first battle here, we're going to be faced off against an Obama Snow, which is a great matchup for us. Fighting will do super effective damage because Obama Snow is ice. They're going to instantly swap to Deoxys. And even though we could keep Primeape in because it has Night Slash, I choose to swap because keeping Primeape in, I would have to risk a shield because I don't want to get hit by a Psycho Boost. But if we throw in Mandibuzz, we'll be able to take it down much easier. And here, their Deoxys uses Rock Slide, which did catch me off guard. I wasn't expecting that move from it, but Mandibuzz is so tanky, it doesn't matter too much. Snarl charges up the charge moves real fast, so we'll have two foul plays we can throw here. We'll throw the first one to try and bait the shield. They use the shield, and now we're going to charge up to the Shadow Ball. And the opponent just barely beats me to the charge move. They're going to throw another Rock Slide. That's fine with me. I'm not going to use a shield because I know Mandibuzz can tank it. Then we're going to throw the Shadow Ball, which is either going to knock out their Deoxys, or it's going to take their last shield. And it does take their last shield here, so the next Pokemon that comes in is going to be able to bombs away because they don't have any more protection. We'll let Mandibuzz go down, so we still have the Switch Clock if we choose to use it. We're going to come straight back out with Primeape and throw the first Night Slash. I love this move on Primate because it's such a powerful move for how fast it charges. It also has a 12.5% chance to boost the stats on Primate, which is a great thing when it does. It does actually hit quite a bit. For example, there have been times where I get 2 or 3 stat boosts from Night Slash in one game. But back to the match, they're going to throw their Rock Slide, we're going to shield it because even though Primate could tank it, I don't want Primate taking that much damage. And they're going to throw back out a Bomb of Snow. I saw the grass typing at the top right corner of the screen and jumped the gun throwing the Ice Punch. We probably could have thrown a Night Slash here and been perfectly fine, but they're going to let it go through and we're just going to be able to farm down this Bomb of Snow. They do actually get to their last charge move. And because they used a Bomb of Snow instead of their third Pokemon against Primeape, it's going to let me know that their last Pokemon is going to be very weak to Primeape. So we're going to use both shields on Primeape here. Their last Pokemon will be an Obstagoon. Which, even though it's a very good matchup for us, Primeape is very low, so we're going to throw the Ice Punch, try and deal as much damage as we can. And then we're going to try and farm down as much as we can here, and Primeape is actually able to sweep their team with a simultaneous knockout that gives us the win because we still had Stunk Fisk in the back. Good game to my opponent. Jumping straight into the second battle here, we're up against an Obstagoon. We know how this is going to favor us, so we're going to try and farm down their Pokemon completely. And they're trying to get off one charge move before it goes down. 
we're going to take it because it's going to be a night slash or cross chop. I know it's not going to do that much to primate. So we're just going to tank it, save a shield, commit to the farm down, and have the energy advantage. The second Pokemon they throw out will be a Swampert. I'm going to go ahead and throw the first Night Slash here. We have another one charged up. Our goal here is to try and take down their shields. And they're going to shield the first one. Normally, I would swap out right here, but because we got the stat boost, I'm going to go ahead and just commit to the Primeape, and we're going to use the second Night Slash. So far, Primeape has already taken down one of their Pokemon, and now it's used both of their shields, which is as good as it can get for us. Primeape has set up the rest of our team to be able to clean it up. They're going to go for their charge move here, which we're going to actually shield because I believe I can get to another charge attack. And now at this point, we have both charge attacks ready to go. They're going to try and swap and catch here, but I saw it coming, so we're going to be able to use Ice Punch here instead of Night Slash, which will do more damage. It does a great chunk, actually, and it's able to finish off the Caesar. So Primeape actually takes out two of their Pokemon, both of their shields, and half a Swampert. It almost sweeped their entire team. So all we're going to do here is throw out Amanda Buzz, and this is where the opponent sees the end of the line. They're going to forfeit, but still a good game, well played to my opponent. And as we go into the final match, the teammates for Primeape I chose have no rhyme or reason. This is simply the first Great League that I'm able to use a Jirachi and a Shadow Ho-Oh in battles, so I wanted to try it out. This lead is going to be Jirachi versus Galarian Slowpoke, which actually seems like it's doing pretty well for us. I have neither used Jirachi or Shadow Ho-Oh before, so I don't really know what they're capable of. But at least it will be a good opportunity to see what Primeape can do when it's not lead. So the opponent gets their first charge attack. I don't think it will be something that hurts us too much, so we're just going to tank it. For how small Jirachi is, it really is able to take some hits. And we're just going to try and farm down and overcharge our energy. They are going to get to another charge attack, although I know it won't be enough to take out Jirachi, so we're going to save our shields and tank it here. And Jirachi is going to be able to finish off the Slowpoke. The next Pokemon that they throw in will be an Obstagoon, but we're going to instantly swap to Primeape and farm down, again gaining more energy. They're going to swap out to an Abomasnow, which is fine with us. We're going to throw an Ice Punch and start chunking away the health. So far, we've got a commanding lead. We have Jirachi charged in the back. Primeape seems to be handling Abomasnow quite fine. However, they are going to use their first shield right here. And knowing that they are probably very close to a charge move, I'm going to throw the second Night Slash on Primate before they get a chance to throw theirs, which is going to force them to use their final shield. They do use their final shield on Obama Snow here so they could throw off their charge attack. We're going to go ahead and shield it just because I don't want Primate taking that much damage. It will be able to fully farm down the Obama Snow and throw another charge attack before their next Pokemon gets to throw theirs. And again, coming back out is the Obstagoon, which we're going to be able to shield and just farm down to win the game. This is another match where Primeape was really able to take control of the momentum. I think Primeape is very good for countering the top meta Pokemon, which is possibly why it's so strong. And as this game finishes out, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Help me break the algorithm by commenting. And I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video.